Welcome to O2 Inside Line. I am Ben Youngs. I'll be hosting, and I am very pleased to be joined by Henry Slade. Yes, yeah. ladies. Yeah. Great bloke. Great bloke. Good looking men. And, and three gentlemen in the background, as you can hear. Uh, we're in Tokyo, uh, ahead of the final this weekend. Um, Henry, it's a special time uh, for everyone in the squad. Uh, first of all, like, what was the sport like at Yokohama at the, uh, Yokohama at the weekend? Uh, and uh, just your reflections on that. Uh, yeah, so the support's been fantastic. We can hear Swing Low going around. I think they had, you guys were chanting the Maratoji chant as well. We can hear all of that. Um, so the support's been fantastic in the stadium uh, and just around the place. We've, we've seen a lot of you guys, um, obviously online as well. We've had plenty of plenty of support, so keep that coming. The boys will see it all and appreciate it all very much. Yeah, the love and the support on social media has been uh, unbelievable, so continue that all the way through. Uh, we've actually got some questions that have been sent in, so uh, let's have a little look. Hi Ben and Slady, Elliot here, England fan out in California. So I'm keen to know how much difference the atmosphere makes at a game. Uh, Swing Low sounded brilliant through the TV on Saturday, sounded like we were playing at home. So yeah, cheers guys and obviously good luck for the weekend. Elliot, thanks for the question mate. Uh, Slady alluded to it really, uh, just the importance of that uh, support that we have constantly and uh, the weekend will be no different so whenever we hear that it, it inspires the team and uh, like I said the constant messages are, are absolutely key so um, enjoy watching it from San Francisco mate thanks for the thanks for the question. Henry and Ben with the big game coming up this Saturday what's your favorite meal of choice the night before the big showdown is it healthy carbs or food that makes you happy good luck. Uh, well it's a bit of both I think um, we have we're lucky enough we've got a lot of a lot of good food put on for us here by head chef Carl and um, I think he does a little station with um, carbonara, doesn't he? Yeah, different pastas. Different like pastas with carbonaras before, before a game, which is very nice. Um, there's loads of other bits. Um, what else do you do? There's fajitas. We've it? got fajita wraps, we've got yeah. salmon, we've got... So if you want to be healthy, there's salads. plenty Salads. Do you know what? There's that much. There's so yeah. much, isn't it? You just forget. There's it's, so much stuff. It's like a world buffet. Yeah, but <laughs> it's, it's very, very good. Very good. The, the, the hardest thing is not, not going into games <laughs> too heavy, isn't it? That's, that's the hard one. Hi there, Ben. Henry, this is Dave here. I've heard the legend of the Friday chocolate biscuit. Is this true? And can you give us a lowdown on it? Good luck for Saturday. All the best, guys. Cheers. This this is true, Dave. Very the chocolate true. biscuit. I simply can't share the recipe with anyone because it's top, it's top secret. secret. It really is. It's, <laughs> it's classified, it's classified information it for is. this team uh, only. Um, but it's a big event. We uh, About 3 o'clock, 3.30. Goujon's turn up. Milk. Milk turns Goujon's up. Goujon's milk. Chocolate biscuits. And chocolate biscuits. I mean, lads have been known the trifecta. to. <laughs> <laughs> there's been, there's been, you know, there's been standoffs. There's been potential scraps going for these last crumbs of biscuits. They, they mean a lot to each individual. Um, but uh, it's been going for a long, long time, way before either of us were involved, yeah. and uh, it will continue. But thanks for the question. So uh, we've got a couple more questions, mate. How much have you personally enjoyed Japan so far? Uh, yeah, I've actually had a. Uh, unbelievable time out here. There's, there's so much to do. It's a very different culture uh, to what we're used to back home. But one I'm, I've, I've enjoyed massively. Um, probably the main thing I've done the most of a few of us boys is the onsen, uh, the naked spas, which are, which are pretty good. Um, what else have we done? We've been I've been on days off, seen it seen like a couple of shrines. Been in town. We're, some, we're next uh, to Disney last week. Weren't yeah, we? yeah, we're next to Disney last week. So a few boys went there. We've been really proactive, haven't we? We tried to. Yeah. Like, we've got a. Um, Elliot, Jamie, George, uh, and Genji uh, do like the the social committee, and they always put yeah. up things that we can do. Um, but they always put on coffee places nearby, yeah. and been to cinema once actually. It was in English as well, so that helped. Thanks a lot for your constant messages, and, and please do keep uh, pouring them into to the team. We really do appreciate it. We're just gonna have a little look at some of the ones that have come in so far. So thank you.
Thanks a lot, guys, uh, for your support. It means so much to us boys, so keep it coming. Cheers. All right, moving on uh, to the Kandama game, which is a traditional Japanese game, Slady. I'm not sure if you've uh, seen this bit of kit. Seen this bit of kit before? Nope. Oh. I do. So, the idea is you can unravel it as much as you want, as much length as you want on it. Yeah, and you have to flick it. it, have a little practice, try and flick it, and you've got to Land catch the, the top. ball. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, the best is actually LCD. What do you do? 15, mate. In 30 seconds. In 30 seconds. But do you have it that long? 30 seconds. Do you have it that long? Yeah. Uh, he had it longer. He had it longer. He went full length. Full well, length. Well, who do you yeah. want to be out of that lot? Obviously, LCD. Everyone. All right. You've got 30 seconds. Time starts now. Oh. Mate, it's hard with it long. You got short now, mate. I, I mean, short, one I would be good. It. One would be good. <laughs> I have to get one. Okay. Oh, that's difficult. Oh, one. okay. There. Oh, I, found, I found it now. Second from last. Two. Two. Time check, please. Five, four, three, three, two, right. one. That I'm is unlucky, um, Slady. Was that uh, was that two? That was two, yeah. Three. 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 You got three. You didn't beat me. Unlucky. Okay, moving Dickie on. Dicky got fifteen of them. What was he? Yeah, Has he got one at home or something? It's easy, isn't it? When you're it's not on the clock, isn't it? It's easier when it's short at 100. percent You'd stitch me up. There. All right, we can carry that on once we've uh, stopped. <laughs> All right, back to uh, back to everyone. Um, oh. Clearly, huge week ahead. Oh, uh, four in a row. Eh? Get that. Here we are. We're back. We're back in the room. We're back in the room. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Competitive sports <laughs> sports uh, personality coming out there. Um, huge week ahead. Um, we all know that. Um, but just give everyone back home a, a taste of what this week looks like for us in terms of training and, and also that recovery side of it. So just yeah. a little insight. Uh, so, so normally we, we train on a Monday um, to get sort of our plays ironed out and what we're going to do, but tra train at fairly low intensity, but it's still a session. But I think the last week or two since we've got tail end of the tournament, we've, we've been focusing more on our recovery and getting our bodies right. Um, so then we've, we've been feeling much better for Tuesdays and um, we go through those plays again uh, then today uh, at a much what a higher pace and or full pace, uh, and then tomorrow will be our our, our toughest session. Um, call it game training. It's as we try and get as close to game intensity as we can. But then we'll have a, a recovery day or well, morning Thursday morning, and then we get a bit of chill time. Um, Fridays we'll do our, our light light game training, so our, our captain's run sort of thing. Um, then we get back, have our goujons and chocolate, uh, and chill out for the night. Rest up before the big day. Good work, Slady. Thanks for your life story. Um, <laughs> so I was rambling on. How do you uh, how do you prepare for yourself mentally? <laughs> Blimey, after that, <laughs> after doing all that during the week, how cool. do you, how, what do you do mentally to prepare? Because uh, um, there'll be obviously a lot of uh, yeah. young aspiring players out there. Like uh, any advice for them mentally getting ready for games? I think I think as a, as a group we uh, we try to build up throughout the week, so we don't try and play the test match on a Monday or a Tuesday because that's uh, we. You can't. You, you sort of you blow out mentally if you if you like that uh, too early in the week. So we try and build it up. So by the time we get to, to Saturday, we're we're right on it and we're we're feeling feeling good and, and ready to go. Perfect, mate. Um, so that's it from us. Um, don't forget, you can see behind the scenes footage on the next episode of Rising Suns. And if you've got nowhere to watch it at the weekend, head down to your local grassroots rugby club where I'm sure the atmosphere will be absolutely rocking. So on that note, hello to uh, Holt Rugby Club. And hey to Ivory's Rugby Club. Keep the support flowing in and uh, I'm sure we'll give you plenty to chat about at the weekend. So thanks very much and uh, we'll see you soon. Cheers, guys. Yes, Woo! Beautiful.